Thank you. Thank you all. As that event comes to an end here, we are going to move into some weather news. Southern states are bracing for a severe weather outbreak from Louisiana to Arkansas to Mississippi and Alabama. Multiple tornadoes are expected to touch down in waves. Fox's Jayla Whitfield is in Alabama with the latest today. Uh, Jayla, what do you have for us? That's exactly right. I mean, I'm here in Birmingham, and as you can see, it's pretty windy already. There's been heavy rainfall and cloudy skies and lightning since I've been here. Now, this area of Birmingham is currently under a tornado warning. The governor of Alabama has issued a state of emergency for all 67 counties in Alabama. Already, there has been tornadoes that have gone through central Alabama within the last hour. Now, millions of people throughout the South are under severe weather threats and could see tornadoes hail and strong winds throughout the night. The National Weather Service in Birmingham says that the strong to violent tornadoes are expected and that these tornadoes will last a while. Officials say this is not something that will be over in a few hours. We spoke with people in the area who have dealt with tornadoes in the past. Their message to everyone is to be prepared for anything. My mother's house was blown away by a tornado many years ago. Uh, lived in Summerton and there was tornadoes and we, you know, we just go to the uh, storm pit or the shelter. Oh, we just went and got candles, flashlight, went and got the air mattress and we have helmets, so we are ready. I'm getting prepared now to go to my aunt's house and stay in her basement with her and her dog until all this gets past us. The threat of deadly tornadoes has also prompted shelters to open across the state. Officials are asking residents to get prepared and stay alert throughout the night. Now, hotels in Alabama and across the South are also prepared. There's a sign in the elevator telling residents here that they will warn them through the intercom. They will also knock on every single door to make sure that we get to safety in the basement if something happens. I'll send it back to you. And Jayla, just in the time that you've been there today, how have those skies been? It's looking pretty great and uh, uh, not not good behind you. Yeah. Definitely. And I mean, there's been some lightning. There's been heavy wind. This sky right here has been what it's been like the whole time. And on my way down here, driving from Atlanta, there was tons of fog. You could barely see and there was rainfall. Now, you, there's some rain coming down right now, but it's not as heavy as it was early. So it's definitely going to be something that we watch throughout the night to see what happens. And as far as preparation goes, have people gone to the stores, gotten all stocked up as they may have to shelter? Yeah, I actually passed by Walmart and a Sam's Club, and there were tons of people there getting socked up, getting prepared. Most of the people there told me they're either going to a friend or a family member's house to shelter in place with them. And I mean, all this is happening in this COVID lifetime. So it's all something that's going to be a concern later on. All right, Jayla Whitfield out there in Alabama giving us the very latest. We will definitely be uh, checking back in with you as these storms take over through the night here. Definitely. And here's a live look right now at, uh, from the radar. This is our uh, X-RAD radar that is live. You can see the storms moving through Birmingham where she is right now. So quite a, a, an interesting situation for all those southern states out there. But many of them used to this as they have had to endure these tornadoes uh, years ago. But hopefully they miss them this time around. We're going to send some of you off to a two minute commercial break. Like we said here on News Now from Fox, we're covering everything from weather to breaking news to politics. And we have a lot more in store for you after the break.